There was a time over a hundred years ago when many scientists thought that the science of physics was almost completely solved. Isaac Newton's version of space and time prevailed and seemed to explain almost everything. Space had a flat Euclidean geometry that followed the same geometric rules that we all learned in grade school. Time was something completely distinct and ticked away at a fixed pace that set everything in motion. An object in space could be accelerated in motion using a force, and if you kept that force acting on the object, it would continue to pick up speed with no upper limit. Also, all of the universe was set against the backdrop of a mysterious universal medium that permeated space called the ether, which provided an absolute position and velocity for any object. Unfortunately, this was all proven to be completely wrong. At the beginning of the 20th century, Albert Einstein introduced a whole new theory of relativity that had major implications for the properties of space and time. In complete contrast to Newtonian physics, there is no absolute position or velocity of objects. It's all relative to what they're being compared to. There is no universal ether. There's also an upper limit to how fast anything can move, which is the speed of light. Finally, space and time are not separate, but are inherently coupled together, connected, in a single four-dimensional fabric with startling implications when we traverse through it. 